As always, it's so fun to be with this man. I mean, Bob Gallon is one of the most productive and one of the most um, brilliant novelists, I'm going to say, that's, he's not new to this, but more people are discovering him. And where I really discovered him was when I got a copy of this baby, Rob the Vatican. But that's just one of his several books. He's got six books. I think by the time it's all said and done, I think that Bob is probably going to end up with, who knows, maybe 20 books. Do you have 20 books in you, Bob? Might be. I know it. I have to do a lot of research and study on each one. And you know what? You're going to come to the masses because there's a big Los Angeles book outing that you're going to. In fact, I want to make sure everyone knows. I'm going to say it's April 13th through the 14th, and it's at the University of Southern California. Whoa. And you're going to be at booth 022, so 022. Yes. And it's easy to find. It's right across from the information center. If you look there, you'll see where you need to be and just look at a map and you'll be able to go and meet Bob. So as you are watching this interview unfold and you're in Los Angeles, because I know there's going to be people that will be there for that and there's going to be people that are from there, make sure that you go up and buy a copy of his book. Uh, there's going to also be opportunities for an autograph session and we'll talk more about that in a minute here, but let's catch up with you and give people, I can't imagine that there's going to be people who haven't seen you uh, with these great interviews that we've been doing, but for a sense of what kind of novels you write and what you talk about, what was the impetus for that? What started this whole thing for you, Bob? Ironically, uh, when I was in the 10th grade taking biology, uh, I thought, wouldn't it be fantastic to be actually able to go into the human body and see all this stuff going on instead of having to read it in a dull textbook? So I had myself swallowed by a sea serpent and then a, uh, uh, one of the big creatures in the stomach uh, decided that I wasn't any danger. So I told him, I want to see what the body, how it works. And so he toured me all around, and each time we start a new chapter, like this is on uh, the lungs, then we would go into the lungs, and we would study the lungs. We would go through some kind of an adventure. And so by the second semester, I had about 60 handwritten pages of my adventures. And then I went to work at a grocery store after, uh, after school almost each day. So I didn't have any more time to write, but I said, someday I'm going to write exciting novels that not only are they exciting, but they will also be very educational for the person reading them. Well, uh, <clears throat> didn't happen to now and I, uh, I went to college, got a degree in engineering, uh, went to work in technology and uh, uh, that area, uh, got married, we had three sons, and every time I decided to start writing a novel, I'd say, no, this is going to take up too much time, I just can't do it. So after I retired, after uh, over 40 years of uh, being in it, uh, I decided it was time, and my advantage was that while I was in this technology area, I started writing articles for scientific journals. And my goal was to write an article that explained the technology so well that the reader could understand it and apply it to their job. And these turned out to be extremely popular. I had over 50 articles published in journals, and the editors uh, worked with me. and. Uh, did three books on technology. So when I was ready to go to work, then I said, okay, now I'm ready to uh, do it. And uh, I asked myself, what would be the most amazing robbery in history? And I thought, finally, after going through, said, rob the Vatican. But when I looked, everybody said, it's absolutely impossible to rob the Vatican. Well, I'd spent all this time in technology and they were always coming in and saying, if you can do this, we will be, a, we will be the best company in this business, but it's impossible to do. 
And we'd say, okay, let's figure out why it's impossible and let's figure out how to overcome the problem and let's do it. Because uh, doing the impossible does you a lot more good than anything else you can do. So when I started to write, so then I started to write that book uh, after six years almost of uh, research. And it was just uh, fascinating to me. I, I really enjoyed it and I, I got it done. And everybody that, that I told about it said, you could rob a Vatican. Nobody can do that. And I said, I have figured out how to do it. <laughs> so, uh, so it turned out to be a, a book and very well received. Yeah, and what's so great about that is that sets you on the path of exactly what you said. I mean, your destiny, I think, was to do the things that you did, get that knowledge, and then go back to initially what you told us as, you know, as a, a younger guy wanting to write, being curious about writing and storytelling. And I think that's critical because for everybody that, that's watching this, what Bob, I think, does so brilliantly is you're a great storyteller and then you match it with that um, precision you have with the research. So you're not just throwing out broad strokes and making things up. You really look into it and you have a strong female character and you have these great books that take us on all these journeys. And when you look at the journeys, I, I've wondered this with the th six books, do you have a favorite book? Uh, <clears throat> probably Satan's Stronghold because that was the first one that I wrote. And that was the one where my wife uh, critiqued my manuscript and told me, do not make a woman dependent upon some manly hero. She has to be able to do the job herself. And uh, so, uh, so I tore that manuscript up. And she also told me, your character, your reader must be able to walk side by side with the characters and see and sense everything they're sensing. And so I thought, well, that works great because I do all this research. And so I can introduce the reader to uh, this research. And so when I redid the book, uh, I created Chesney Barrett, then the uh, environmental scientist who's doing research in the Louisiana Chafalaya Basin, a huge swamp that can be very dangerous. Uh, but then uh, she gets convinced by a uh, government secret agent who, hey, we know that a drug dealer is building a factory somewhere in the remote section of that swamp. And we sent two people in to try to find out where it is, and they're both dead. So you have the advantage. You have a reason to be there. You're doing research in the area. And uh, so will you do this? And she agrees to uh, take it on, even though that's a huge difference. And the reason she does it is because she'd been a champion swimmer. Uh, three years in a row, she had been the collegiate best swimmer. She was going to go to the Olympics and win all sorts of gold medals. And then a uh, drug dealer escaping from the police in a van, ran a stop sign, smashed into her car killed her mother and put her in the hospital. And so she watched the Olympics from the hospital. So mm -hmm. she recovered fully, but she, when he told her, you know, there's a drug dealer doing that, she said, I am not gonna allow this drug dealer to do to anybody what that drug dealer did to me. Yes, I'll go find them. And she turns out to be great. And she was so good. I had the plots for three other stories, and I said, oh, she's got to be the lead in this. Uh, to heck with the person I have in there now is doing it. It's going to be Chesney Barrett, and that has been uh, exciting. So we have five books now of uh, Chesney, Same Stronghold, Jericho's, The Iron Virus, God's Domain, and Alpha and Omega was... Alpha and Omega just came out. Uh, 
And it is fun to work with Chesney Barrett. She is so good. I just really like working with her. Yeah, and after your descriptions and talking about her, and I love that your wife was so prophetic because look at what's happening in the world today and strong females are very much being featured. And so for people watching this, honestly, uh, you have daughters, granddaughters, other women in your life, buy Bob's mm -hmm. books because his character really resonates with the times. I, I think there's no question about that. I want to make sure we get this in a bunch, Bob, and we're speaking with Bob Gallant, of course, and I'm looking down because I want to give the exact location of where he's going to be. It's booth 022, so 022, University of Southern California, April 13th through the 14th. And uh, if you look, it's situated across the Information Center and right beside Nishan Press. So Nishan Press is what you look for that. And then you can see Bob there, obviously. And you're going to the fair for the first time. So you'll be there. You'll be able to meet a bunch of people. I'm wondering what you're most excited about. Oh, I'm thinking, wow, I can walk around that place and meet other authors. I can meet people who are there because they love to read books and chat with them about, uh, okay, how do you feel about looking? Have you read any of mine? If you have, what did you think of it? Uh, I can talk to large publishers. Uh, there's going to be some uh, movie film uh, representatives there. And, but I'm going to be there at the booth for significant amount of time and we're not going to sell books from from it uh we are going to give some away i'm going to sign them off to some of the early ones that come in and uh let them have that and then if somebody says well i want to order one of those books then uh i'll give them my uh website and they can go in there they can look about all six books decide the one they want and uh, click and they're into Amazon and Amazon will sell it to them. So, but it's just going to be to me exciting. I've never done this before. So uh, I am so excited for you. And, and again, at the top, I said about buying books because that's, what's going to happen. You're going to go there and Bob's going to not give you all of six of his books, but if you're lucky, you'll get some, one of the free copies that you'll sign and be able to personally meet Bob, which is so, so cool. And then you can go there, have a conversation and talk about some of those other books that we're talking about and the main character, the strong female character that he has, who um, will absolutely blow you away. So make sure you put this on your calendar, April 13th and 14th. And for everybody else who's watching us, there's no reason why you can't go to the website and you can pick up one of the books. I think what happens is you get into the books and then you can't stand. It's, it's like watching Netflix or something else, but you're doing it with books. You want to know what happens to her. You want to know what's next. So that's my question to you. What's next? Are we going to get something after Alpha and Omega? Um, I'm working on a plot now. My challenge is, well, my requirements are, okay, it, it can't be like what everybody else is writing. And second, uh, <clears throat> it has to uh, include information that is valuable to the person, whether it's culture or history or geography or technology. I want uh, that to be in there. So I got to have those. And I was working away on one of them and I said, no, nah, this isn't going to meet my, this isn't going to meet my standards. So I got, <laughs> I got to go to something else, but I, I will do more because uh, Chesney Barrett is just so enjoyable. I got, <laughs> I got to be around that woman. She's, uh, we got to see her on the screen. You got to talk to some of those producers that are out there because I'm visualizing what actress would, would play her. But um, boy, always, always fascinating to talk to you. And I hope we, we got your appetite wet for, for what Bob offers. And, and I hope that many of you that are able to do it go. You get a copy of his book if you get there early enough. And you can even learn even more out about Bob. Um, Bob, as always, it's so fun to chat with you, and I can't wait to see what your next chapter brings. Great. Yeah, this will be Saturday and Sunday, the 13th and 14th, and uh, I'll, I'll be there. I'm flying in Friday, flying back out Monday, so I'm going to be there 
the whole time because that's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And uh, for anybody who likes to, to read, they'll learn so much just wandering around and talking to uh, authors. And uh, it, it's, it's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. I think it's going to be fun too. I'll tell you what, next time I want to go, but, and I'll meet you out there, but how fun uh -huh. will that be? You, you, you have a deal partner if you want to take me up on that. We'll go out there together and then we'll walk around. Have right. fun. I have a deal partner. My, one of my daughter-in-laws is from California originally. Grew up there, went to uh, University of California uh, is, as a master's in horticulture. And so she said, well, I'm going to go out and visit with my parents. And then I'll just run down this there while you're there. And... I'll get in on what you're doing. So, oh. so that's going to be fun. Too. It is going to be fun. So when you come, boy, we could we can push each other, you know. Hey, Absolutely. We'll you next time. Want to do what? Yeah, we'll own that place. I love it. You're Bob, right. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's always so pleasurable to talk with you, Kate. You're just a uh, a fun person. Thank you. You too. Okay. Take care.